Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.28 from Nielsen and Riddle book. So the question is use the not voltage method to find the power developed by the voltage controlled current source. Okay, so we are asked about the power voltage controlled current source. Okay, the power that is developed by this one here. Right, voltage control current source. Yeah, this one. Okay, so the question is finding the power of this component here. Okay, and we are asked to use the not voltage method. Let's start by setting this bottommost node as our ground. So V is equal to zero. And let's see what can we get from here. And we will have 150 volt here. So this node here must be 150 okay and this is v delta maybe for easier pronunciation i just make it v a here and then this one here is v b and this one here is v c okay so we have three unknown nodes but then we have this one a and this uh, dependent voltage source and VC we will treat this as a super node so the one that I highlighted yellow is our super node and let's assume the direction of the current uh, okay maybe assume this is going down this is going to the right this is going down, this is going to the right, this is going to the right, and this is going down. Okay, this is going down, and this is going up, because I just follow that current source. Okay. And now, let's do KCL at the super node, right? KCL at super node. Okay, and KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, let's see here from this super node. There are two currents that goes in, right? So this one here and this one here. We have to be careful here. For this one here, we will have 150 minus Vc. 150 minus Vc divided by 10 okay and then this one here okay so we will have V delta but V delta is equal to Va for easier pronunciation I just make it Va so we'll have Va divided by 4.5 okay that's good and the current that goes out, which is this one, so I will have Va divided by 15. Va divided by 15. And then this one is also going out, so I will have Vc divided by 20. Vc divided by 20. Okay, maybe let's multiply this by what? 30 mm. or simplifying this first maybe four and half that is nine over two so we will have this one will be two over nine right two over nine so i will have two and we will have nine on here but then if it is like this what can we get from here let me think for a while i think i will multiply it by 180 okay 180 because i will cancel out all the denominator okay uh 180 multiplied by 150 that is a large number so 180 multiplied by 150 Okay, we'll have 27,000, 
27,000. Then minus 18 VC. Okay, and then plus 9 and 180 will cancel into 20. So I will have 40 VA. And then 15 and 180 will cancel into 12. So we'll have 12 VA. And then for this VC, we will have... I think they will cancel into 9, right? So we'll have 9 VC. Okay, so now let's make it tidier. Uh, I think we will have 40... 40 minus 12, that will be 28, right? So we have 28, 28 VA. And then minus 18 minus 9, so we'll have minus 27 VC. And then... Okay, 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 okay. I think I will move this 27,000 to the right hand side. So we'll have minus 27,000. Yeah, I think nothing that we can do from here. Let's save this as equation number one. Okay, now let's do KCL at VB. KCL at VB. KCL at B, B. Again, the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, for that I will have VA minus VB divided by 30. VA minus VB divided by 30. And then that will equal to VB divided by 60. Okay, VB divided by 60 plus VB minus 150 and then divided by divided by 10, right? So this one, okay. And we can multiply both sides by 60. Let's multiply both sides by 60. So we will have 2VA minus 2VB. And that will equal to VB plus 6VB minus 150 multiplied by 60. That will be 90 followed by two zeros. 90 followed by two zeros and that is 9000 okay and then seven we will have this so i'll have two va minus minus two minus seven that will be minus nine vb and that will equal to minus nine thousand okay let's save this as equation number two and then okay inside the super node because we need three variables right inside the super node okay we will have vc minus va vc minus va vc minus va is equal to 11 I, what is it? Phi. I'm phi. Okay, maybe let's rewrite it as this. Minus VA plus VC is equal to 11. And then where is I phi? I phi is here. And that will equal to VC divided by 20. So we'll have 11 VC over 20. Maybe let's move that 20 to the left hand side. So we will have minus 20 VA plus 20 VC and that will equal to 11 VC. Okay, and this one will be okay, minus 20 VA and then plus 9 VC. 
all of that will equal to zero and let's save this as equation number three so we have three equation and three variables this one this one and this one and we can solve this we should be able to solve this okay let's clean up the okay i think the fastest way to solve that is using calculator let's set up as equation solver which is number five we need three variables set it number two and so we'll have 28 and then zero and then minus 27 and all of that will equal to minus 27,000. Okay, and then we will have 2, and then minus 9. And for VC, we will have 0 there. So we have minus 9,000. Okay, and for the last one, I will have minus 20. And then 0. Oops. Oh, I made mistakes. Let's do let's do it again so i'll have 28 28 and then 0 and then minus 27 and then minus 27000 okay and then 2 and then minus 9 and then minus 9000 okay minus 9000 yeah that's good oh no that's not minus 1000 that is zero for this one and this one will be minus 9000 okay and then for the last one i will have minus 20 and then zero and then nine and then zero okay we will have our va value here is 843.75 well that's difficult number to remember so va is 843.75 did i remember it correctly maybe let's check uh, yeah and then vb vb is that number there so you have VB that will be 1187, 1187.54. Then what is VC? VC. VC is 1875. 1875. Okay. And if we need to calculate the power here. So the power, remember that the power is the voltage, which is Vc. So I will have Vc multiplied by the current. The current is Va divided by 4.5. Okay, we can just plug in the number. Vc is that one. 1875 and then Va is that one. So we'll have this one divided by... 4.5 and i think this is the job of the calculator right so i will have 1875 multiplied by 843.75 and then divided by 4.5 okay we will have this one maybe let's convert this into kilowatt so i will have 350 50.6 yeah 351.6 351.6 and the unit will be kilowatt and i think that is the answer for this question uh that's all see you in the next video bye bye